Greetings all. In this very short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can go about creating or integrating data between Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word, Excel, and even Access. All right. So for this tutorial, I've actually prepared a Word document for you that is actually giving information on a, a set of tours over a number of years. So here is my information in my word document and i'd like to include this same information in a powerpoint presentation that i'm going to be giving later on now in order for me to do that i need to make use of my styles group so if you notice within this word document i have some text that is larger and shows up uh, bold within the document and others that are formatted slightly differently so for example i have a caribbean tours heading here that is heading one and in order for me to get the different headings or subtitles even i simply highlight the information that i need and change the headings accordingly and you will see how these headings are incorporated into Microsoft PowerPoint later on. So I'm going to save this. Let me give it another name just so that let's, let's say to a just so that I, I still have access to the original file. I'm going, going to hit save and I'm actually saving to my Google Drive location, which is prudent in all instances. And I'm going to open a PowerPoint application let me search for powerpoint i'm using windows 10 here so i'm afforded options to actually use my search icon here i'm going to click on powerpoint 2016 and most people a lot of people many people will actually create a blank presentation and they will simply begin by either copying and pasting the information from Microsoft Word to PowerPoint directly or retyping that information once more. We won't do that. What we'll do instead is to simply go to our home tab, the slides group, and choose a new slide, this drop down arrow. And instead of choosing from the templates that are available within this section, we're going to the slides from outline. Click on that. And we're actually going to search for that file that we had just saved. Mine is in my Google Drive. I have it in an integration document and it is 2A. So I noted the name of the document also and insert. Uh, um, um, I have an error here. PowerPoint can't actually open the file because I did not close it. So in order for us to actually do that, we must close the file first and then we should be able to insert it without any issues. Insert. Might take some time to insert that document but notice that powerpoint will now include a new slide for every single heading that i had that was actually titled heading one so within my word document if a string of text is added as a heading one text then it will be included in this word in this powerpoint document as a slide with the heading at top if it is outlined as heading two then that comes in as a bulleted list all right so this is a very easy way to actually get information from microsoft word into microsoft powerpoint we can also for time purposes choose to insert um, from within PowerPoint we could choose to insert a chart if I hit insert chart 
I could choose the type of chart that I'd like to insert here. Let's say it's a column chart, for example, hit OK. And what PowerPoint will actually do is to insert that chart using a mini Excel document that you would then change. So for example, I could call my categories here, let's say trip one, trip two, trip three and four and so forth and so on and you'll notice that the information here within the chart changes accordingly series one does not really make sense uh, so we could say maybe june july august something along those lines this might be money might be percentage depending on the type of data within the the, the, uh, the actual document and from here you're actually able to include your information accordingly okay we have actually covered how you go about including data from microsoft access into microsoft excel so it is perfectly fine if you actually copied a table from microsoft uh, access pasted your table within excel and then used the 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 fields to create a chart within microsoft PowerPoint. This concludes our tutorial on integrating data between PowerPoint and the other applications in Microsoft Office. We do hope that you found this useful and that you actually have use for this type of tutorial in your daily activities. All right, please join us again when we actually talk about integrating. Uh, data from the web into Microsoft Office applications. Thanks.